The most amazing thing about NHL 96 for Nintendo Game Boy is that it was even made to begin with. Never mind the fact that it's not even the first attempt to port over EA's successful NHL franchise from its 16-bit origins onto the portable arena. That honor, for lack of a better term, goes to NHL Hockey 95. But just the fact that they would attempt this again boggles the mind to no end, especially if this is the end result. So it's a fairly featured game. You have all the NHL teams of the time available to play, along with the two all-star teams, though none of the actual players since there's no NHLPA license tagged with this thing. You could play a single game, regular season, skip to the playoffs in either best of seven or single knockout varieties, or test your shootout skills. There's a multi-digit password system for resuming seasons and playoff runs. How fun. And you could toggle penalties and line changes if desired. For the most part, more or less the same options you get from playing the Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis versions of the same game. Unfortunately, that's about as far as I could go in regards to netting positives. Everything else starts to go downhill, beginning with the very start of the game, which subjects you to about 30 seconds over, or maybe perhaps even a minute's worth of unskippable logos, copyright information, and game credits in case you want to know who was responsible for this travesty and deserves a permanent place in your shit list. This pause also occurs after every game you exit in some form or fashion, with the time it takes to scroll through all that stuff, usually enough for you to consider turning this off and doing something else. Should you stick around, unfortunately, the title screen will eventually pop up with an annoying tune playing in the background. This, along with the abysmal sound effects, makes NHL 96 one of those Game Boy games you play with the volume turned all the way down. And yes, some of you who've played the console game will note that the title theme sounds nothing like Get Ready For This, and that's okay, because nobody got ready for this. Another positive I could bring up, the in-game menus are actually well done and organized and stuff like that. Even the intermission with the sports guy isn't too bad looking. But then we get to the in-game graphics, which for some inexplicable reason chooses to retain the full resolution graphics of its console iterations. This naturally results in very reduced visibility in the playfield, which makes setting up potential plays and scoring opportunities very difficult since you can't see, well, much of anything quite frankly. Not only is reduced visibility an issue, but the low frame rate kills things even further with a very apparent choppiness that slows the game down considerably. And that's only with a couple of players on screen at most. Once you hit 4 or 5, that's when NHL 96 starts to choke, and choke big time. This is, of course, far worse on an actual Game Boy, which is prone to constant flicker, and, well, enough said. And because of the frame rate issues, the gameplay of NHL 96 takes a 5 minute game misconduct for roughing pal with laggy controls that are slow to respond and sometimes don't work. Moving your player with the D-pad isn't the smoothest thing around, which is sadly to be expected in this mess. And despite only having two buttons for passing and shooting, you'd figure they at least work, but they don't. Sometimes it takes two or three button presses to get my player to pass, the puck, or shoot a shot or whatever needs to be done involving pressing buttons or doing anything beyond turning the game off. As for the AI, every once in a while it'll score by accident, but for the most part, it just fumbles about much like the frame rate. There's a way to do console hockey games on the Game Boy with full view and not suck. The system's take on Blades of Steel is a good example of that. You have as much view of the rink as the NES version, and the gameplay is still slick and smooth for the most part. Why something like that couldn't have been done with this EA NHL game is something best left to the great minds of hockey video games to figure out. This is one of those games where there isn't really a whole lot to say. It plays poorly, it runs poorly, it flickers constantly, and it sounds kind of rubbish. But it does have Super Game Boy compatibility, a bland blue background and dull color palette questioning why you're playing this on your Super Nintendo Entertainment System when there's already a superior version on that console you could be playing right now. NHL 96 on Game Boy is a travesty of nature that shouldn't have been allowed to exist, but it does. The best thing we could do is avoid it and stick with the console games instead. A hard, hard pass.